Hey guys, let's get more news from Dallas Cowboys, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Giants Darius Slayton enjoyed Cowboys, Eagles playoff exits. The Dallas Cowboys and Philadelphia Eagles were both bounced out of the playoffs at the first hurdle, and at least one member of the New York Giants couldn't hide his enjoyment. Wide receiver Darius Slayton took to social media to lap up the misery of his NFC East rivals during the Eagles' 32-9 loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Monday, January 15. The Eagles were being dumped from the wildcard bracket just over 24 hours after the Cowboys were humiliated by the Green Bay Packers at AT&T Stadium. A 48-32 defeat left the Cowboys one and done in the postseason for the third year running. Slayton had no problem cheering on the Packers as they piled up the points on the road. He posted, Go Pack Go! It makes sense for any member of the Giants to allow themselves a smile when their rivals lose big games. Yet, the hollow victory enjoyed by Slayton only underlines how the Giants underachieved this season. They were a playoff team in 2022, but the Giants stumbled to a 6-11 finish and are already dealing with upheaval on the coaching staff. There's also the looming specter of two key players, testing the free agent market. Although the Cowboys won six more games than the Giants during the regular season, they ultimately played just one more game than Big Blue. The humiliating setback against the Packers condemned this Cowboys team to a piece of unwanted history, according to ESPN's Jordan Ronan, citing ESPN stats and info. It's little wonder Slayton enjoyed what he saw especially since he played in both games against the Cowboys this season. Games the Giants lost by a combined scoreline of 89-17. Those defeats highlighted why the 2023 Giants were so far off the pace. The Cowboys exploited a feeble offensive line, feasted on turnover-prone quarterbacks, and got the better of an inconsistent defense. Many of those same problems showed up when the Giants lost on the road in Philadelphia in Week 16. Head coach Brian Dable's team made amends two weeks later, with Slayton getting in on the act during a 27-10 victory at MetLife Stadium. Slayton can enjoy his laugh at the Eagles' expense, but he should be wary about gloating too much. Sport has a way of doling out karmic retribution to those who crow a little too much when they're winning. Just ask beleaguered Eagles head coach Nick Sirianni. As BBC Sports' Paul Hyam points out, Sirianni's squad went 2-6 after the coach openly taunted fans of the Kansas City Chiefs following a 21-17 Eagles win in Week 11. Slayton would be better off taking a tip from a Giants teammate when posting about the playoffs. The true sentiment the Giants should be feeling this postseason is regret, not enjoyment. Running back Saquon Barkley summed it up best when he posted, Nothing like playoff football. I gotta get back. Frustration has to be turned into motivation to correct the mistakes of this season and help the Giants become a playoff team again. Barkley can help, provided he's still on the roster next season. Stefan Gilmore will have shoulder surgery heading into free agency. The Dallas Cowboys got everything they could have asked for from cornerback Stefan Gilmore when they traded for him last offseason. The veteran tore his right labrum against the Washington Commanders in Week 18 and played through the pain on Sunday against the Green Bay Packers. If the playoff run continued, Gilmore would have played through the pain. However, with the season coming to an abrupt end, Michael Gelkin of the Dallas Morning News says he will undergo surgery to repair his shoulder. Stefan Gilmore understood a shoulder injury he suffered in the January 7 regular season finale would probably require surgery. He postponed the procedure in hopes of a Super Bowl run. The Cowboys cornerback played with a torn right labrum in Sunday's playoff loss to the Green Bay Packers. Gilmore said he expects to have surgery this week while looking ahead to next season. In the past, players with similar injuries shut it down for the year and look forward to the next. Gilmore, being the competitor he is, was hoping to play another three games with the shoulder harness he wore if it came to that. There were no limitations to his availability on the field for the wild card game, given he played all the defensive snaps even with it being a blowout by the fourth quarter. I'm going on towards the end, Gilmore, 33, said. I tried to give it all I've got. I still felt like I could play. Tried to give it a go. Got to take advantage of these opportunities. Gilmore mentioned to Gelkin that he for sure wants to play another season 
but with him being one of many key free agents in March, it's uncertain if that's with a star on his helmet. The Cowboys acquired Gilmore with the Indianapolis Colts for a fifth-round pick. His relationship with wide receiver Brandon Cooks, playoff pedigree, and leadership skills were all a part of the intrigue around Gilmore arriving in the first place. With Trayvon Diggs coming off a severe knee injury and Jordan Lewis entering free agency, Gilmore's return could be a priority for the front office. His impact on the locker room and mentorship of young players like Diggs and Darren Bland has been felt all season. If you don't believe it, just look at head coach Mike McCarthy's choices of team captains entering the playoffs. McCarthy named six captains, Dak Prescott, Zach Martin, Demarcus Lawrence, Brandon Aubrey, Brian Anger, and Gilmore. He was named ahead of defensive stars like Micah Parsons and Bland, who have had phenomenal seasons. Dallas has a long road ahead to pick up the broken pieces from Sunday's disaster. Part of the solution could start with re-signing Gilmore and taking another run at the Super Bowl in 2024. Cowboys, the reason why Shannon Sharp believes Dallas shouldn't hire Bill Belichick. At the moment, the Bill Belichick rumors continue swirling. Now that it's been confirmed the veteran coach is leaving the New England Patriots, football fans wonder which team will pick him up. Currently, most of the talks point to the Dallas Cowboys. Fresh off a wild-card weekend defeat, the Cowboys are rumored to be eyeing Belichick as a potential replacement for head coach Mike McCarthy. While Jerry Jones himself avoided addressing questions on McCarthy following Sunday's upset loss, losing to a seventh-seeded Green Bay Packers was not a good look for the current Dallas coach. However, one big football name doesn't think that Belichick would fare well with America's team, Shannon Sharp. Discussing the situation on first take, Sharp explained how the 71-year-old coach would supposedly butt heads with team owner Jerry Jones. Molly do you not understand that coach Belichick wants authority? Sharp said, addressing co-host Molly Karim. Can you imagine Jerry Jones trying to hold a press conference and tell what's going on with the team? And you think coach Belichick is going to sit idly by and let Jerry do that? Absolutely not. It would be the worst it's a match made in hell. You couldn't pick a worse match than Jerry Jones and coach Bill Belichick. The former NFL superstar also mentioned how he believes Jones likes being the face of the Cowboys organization, which is, according to Sharp, the rumored reason why Dallas parted ways with former coaches Jimmy Johnson and Bill Parcells. There's a reason he got rid of Jimmy. He got rid of Bill Parcells. Coach Belichick learned under Parcells. Jimmy and Coach Parcells and Coach Belichick are more alike, he doesn't want that type of coach. He wants to be able to do everything. He wants to be the face of it, Sharp added. Controversial topic or not, Uncle Shannon will let his thoughts be heard. And as for Belichick, only time will tell what role he'll take on for the upcoming season. For now, the rumors continue. And you fan, what do you think of the Bill Belichick situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.